What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have a very fun video on our hands. Today we're going to be pairing Victor Webb and Yama and Giannis Ante Tacumpo. This video is actually inspired from another YouTuber AM Hoops who actually did a video on this a while back about the idea that Giannis could go team up with Victor Webb and Yama in San Antonio. Well obviously this isn't likely to happen. The Spurs do have a lot of assets to pull it off and for whatever reason Giannis was to be traded, which again, I don't know that's actually going to happen, but let's just get into the video. Let's talk about it. Let's have, have some fun with it. Obviously, it's something that more than likely won't happen, but it's not like totally out of the realm of possibility. In today's video, make sure you guys drop a like on this one and subscribe if you're new to this channel. As always, greatly appreciated right now. We're actually on the path to 50,000 subs. So you want to go ahead and hit the subscribe button to help us reach our goal. That would be awesome. Let me paint the picture for you. Yas on Kumpo to San Antonio. How would this happen if it were to happen? Again, this is more than likely not going to happen, but it would probably have to result in the Bucks losing in round one, round two, very early in a very you know embarrassing fashion. Giannis in the past has just you know obviously said that uh, I want to go where I can win. Um, him and Wimby would be a lot of fun. I, again, I don't think this is actually going to happen, but it sounds like a very fun duo to pair together. The Spurs, of course, have a bunch of assets. They're going to have two lottery picks this offseason, assuming they uh, get the Toronto pick. I believe Toronto is top six protected. But Keldon Johnson, Jeremy Sohan, six pick six and pick eight. We did not have a lot of, we did not have some lottery luck, but this would allow the Bucks to reset because they're going to uh, add two rookies from the lottery at pick six and pick eight. They get to add Jeremy Sohan as well, Keldon Johnson. Julian Champagne and a Chicago top five or top 10 protected pick as well. Again, Giannis would have to like request a trade out of here. And again, I don't know if that's actually going to happen. ESPN is already putting a lot of pressure on the Spurs to build around Wimby as soon as possible. Obviously, ESPN is not a network you have to listen to all the time. But Victor Webanyama wants to win. Giannis would be the way to obviously do that right away. So let's make that trade happen. Again, this is more than likely not going to happen. But let's just have some fun with it today. Uh, and uh, should be a ton of fun. So we're going to turn off trade over right now. No, that, that's taken care of. So Giannis Antetokounmpo and Victor Webanyama. It's almost like Wimby, or not Wimby. It's almost like Giannis playing with a better Brook Lopez because obviously Webanyama could do exactly what Brook Lopez does, just a lot younger and probably a lot better already. We also get to keep Devin Vassell in this scenario. We keep Trey Jones. We have Zach Cohen. So we do still have a little bit of a rotation even after we trade Jeremy Sohan and Julian Champagne, but of course, there is still a lot of work to do to make this a contending roster, but we're off to a great start with Giannis and Webinyama, of course. This should be a ton of fun to see how these two pair together as we go throughout 2K. I already have, like, some uh, ideas of guys I want to bring in. So, Vassell is my starting shooting guard. Feels great to me. Love that so much. We definitely need another 3 and D wing, and then we need a, a legitimate point guard. Uh, Trey Jones, don't mind him. If we can keep him as our backup throughout the video, that would be exactly what we need. And I feel like the last few times I've done Spurs rebuilds, I've always lost Trey Jones just because I completely forget about him. Today, I got to make sure I don't do that. Hopefully, I don't. Even after I said that, hopefully, I get him back. But let's fill out the coaching staff. Of course, we also have Greg Popovich as well throughout this video, which is nice. So we're going to fill out the coaching staff to the best of our ability to bring in the best staff possible. That way, Giannis can try to win a championship right away, and we get Wimby a championship as soon as possible in his career. So a lot of things could go right here for us if we're able to execute this correctly. So um, we got a good... Ooh, we got Justin Fields, who got traded to the Steelers. Just kidding. That's Jermaine Fields. But uh, let's go, and uh, we didn't get exactly who else we wanted. Can I get Goldman now? Yes, we can get Goldman, and then we just need a guard guru, and we should... Oh, actually, I need a wing whisperer and a guard guru. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab these two positions for the coaching staff, and I'll see you guys with the next step. Today's video is brought to you by DGF's Optimizer. If you're playing on DFS apps every day, such as Price Picks, Underdog, etc., this is a kind of tool that you need to give you good plays right in front of you without having, without having to do any research whatsoever. Basically, what it does, it compares discrepancies across multiple sports books, also shows you the juice on sports books. So right now, Will Thomas uh, today at Thursday or Thursday 2 10 p.m. Over four and a half rebounds is heavily favored by every single book. There's no discrepancy here, but as you can see, a lot of books have that heavily favored with minus 135 odds, minus 140 odds, minus 140 odds, minus 136 odds. Uh, let me see if I can find a discrepancy here. May not have an example at this. Actually, we do. Well, only one book is off, but. Uh, you could go take the under on 22 and a half at Darren Williams with only one book being off by 20 and a half. Every other book has a 22 and a half, but still have every heavily favored to go under because a lot of these books are favoring the under. So you get it. Basically, there's going to be discrepancies at times. It also shows you, shows you good plays right in front of your face, which is just awesome to have as a tool when you're playing on apps such as Price, Bigs, Dabble, or, you know, better or whatever it may be. So 
if you go to prize picks of course uh download prize picks use code crossables to match first deposit dollar for dollar up to 100 dollars it's also a great time to sign up for prize picks they have a free square on caitlin clark uh free money so i would definitely take advantage of that if you've not already make sure to sign up for prize picks like i said use code crossables how it works you choose between two to six players Two players being three times your entry, all the way up to six players being 25 times your entry. So if you take advantage of the Caitlin Clark free square and then just come to some NBA play, you could copy something off the popular tab if you wanted to, or if you have the optimized, you can find a good play to pair with it. Whatever you want to do, let's just say we took the most popular play on the board right now with Michael Porter Jr., which I don't highly recommend, by the way. Uh, don't ever just play off the popular tab. That's a terrible idea. But uh, Caitlin Clark, Michael Porter, if you want to pair that together, that works. Another app I absolutely love is Dabble. Dabble just actually introduced a really cool feature up to a thousand X payout. If you get 12 of 12 correctly, correct, which is obviously going to be very hard to do, but you get a thousand X payout, which is absolutely insane. Another cool feature about Dabble is you can actually copy people's entries with a click of a button. Use code crush 10. When you sign for Dabble, you get $10 just for signing up. Really cool app. The, the idea that you can copy people, copy people's entries with a click of a button is just so insane and so much fun, but make sure you guys check out these apps, Price Fix, Dabble, DGF, all links are down in the description below. But let's get back to the rebuild. So we do not have a first round pick anymore because we traded both for Giannis onto the Kumpo, of course, which costed us two lottery picks. But I mean, it's Giannis onto the Kumpo, so what do you expect? But we do have an early or a middle of the you know middle of the pack second round pick, so maybe we could go get somebody good. Deron Holmes uh, stands out to me. I'm gonna go ahead and take Deron Holmes out of Dayton here. He'll be maybe someone in the future for us. Maybe he won't be anybody, but whatever. Player options, Malachi, Brandon, Blake, Wesley. Two guys that actually could be backup guards in this rotation next year, which is nice. Qualifying offers, uh, Dominic Barlow, uh, David Duke. I guess looks in the offer on Dominic Barlow. Other than that, not much else. And then we don't have a ton of money to use, but there is uh, some players we could sign if we wanted to. So like Rustin Yo, Hamdi Diallo. Uh, we have Luke Kennard, Lonnie Walker. All right, so let's get to work here. So what do we need the most? So we have Trey Jones, Von Instagram, Blake, Wesley. So right now, point guard rotation, could use some work for sure. Malachi Brandon Vassell. City Sissoko is our starting small forward right now. Giannis, of course, and Wimby and Zach Collins. So Zach Collins is going to slide to the four for us, and Charles will be the backup power forward. So that's what, what we'll do for this first season. So yeah, we'll rely on Charles to be the backup center once he's back from injury. Pretty solid backup center when he comes back. Um, and then we need a new point. Well, I would be fine with rolling for Trey Jones for this year, but I also wouldn't mind making a move right away to go get a different point guard. We still have some assets left. Uh, I do have an idea of a point guard who I think would like fit perfectly for what I want. Now, obviously there are some concerns with this addition, but I think he would make a ton of sense here. So I don't know if we could go get him or not, but if I could, that would be amazing. And that guy I'm talking about, which actually let's go take a look at how the Bulls are feeling right now. And that's Lonzo Ball. Now, obviously, there is a lot of risk taking Lonzo Ball back just because of his injuries, but he'd be such a perfect fit on this team. Now, he is down right now, so we can't trade for him at this moment. But later this offseason, I might take the gamble and trade for Lonzo Ball. I really might. So, I guess since we can't trade for Lonzo right now, let's just focus on a small forward. So, Rosano could be our starting small forward at this moment. Torian Prince. Derek Jones Jr. But I think if there's anybody I wouldn't mind bringing in right away to be our starting small forward, it'd be Caleb Martin. I think that's where we got to start. So we're going to start with Caleb Martin. If nothing else, he is good depth in the future, but he's probably going to be the starter right away just because we don't have a starter at the moment. So Caleb Martin is going to start immediately. And then we are going to just fill out the rest as much as we can. So Caleb Martin, we're going to move you to the three immediately. You're going to have to start, which is fine, but uh, you should do good there. So Caleb Martin's going to start. Michelle Branham's good. Uh, Blake Wesley trey jones is good and then yeah that might be all we could really do i mean we could sign another uh, small forward as well we could sound like a shooter in joe harris or something other than that i think the rest of the offseason is going to be trying to trade for lonzo that's where i'm going to go with this dominic barlow sandro are all back Giannis is down wimby is up uh kill martin is up joe harris is down uh so yeah guys are going down which is not surprising let's go to 2k hoop summit and let's see if lonzo ball is available again this would be a risky gamble to take if you're san antonio but lonzo to me would fit perfectly we need a point guard that could pass the ball and shoot the three and lonzo do, does both those things very well of course coming off an injury uh if you're the spurs i would not mind taking that gamble if the bulls are willing to play ball uh although the bulls could just keep him and say you know we want to see what he does uh so yeah i'm actually gonna go make him healthy really quickly and go trade for him because i think he'd be perfect for what we need exactly what we need 
I'm going to see if I can leave it to something like this, where it's low risk, high reward. We're not trading a first round pick in, the, in this scenario, but the Bulls just go ahead and cut ties with Lonzo. You get a second round pick for him, whatever. Again, there could be, you know, some incentive for the Bulls to just keep him and try to see what he can do for them. But if I can trade Daron Home City, Dominic Barlow in a second for Lonzo, they're going to say no, though. If I trade another second, I'm going to try to do this without a first. I might have to do a first. Okay, I would be fine with doing like a not my unprotected pick. That sounds kind of crazy. Um, maybe we just throw it. Can I throw it like, can I get away with like another player in here, maybe? Yes. Okay, so we don't have to trade it first. We get Joe Harrison there instead. So Lonzo Ball comes over, uh, which is awesome. So we get Lonzo Ball to be our new point guard, which I absolutely love. He fits like a glove, in my personal opinion. So I'm very happy to have his services. So now uh we can go straight to next season and see what this is about to look like so probably he's gonna last first overall proficiency's four-star defense uh lonzo fits that perfectly uh we could leave this a defense if we wanted to but i am gonna move this to a balance system just because um you know mars is gonna fit that a little bit better kill mars is not someone i want to be my long-term starting small forward but for now it's not terrible so we'll leave it at that greg bovich gonna continue to be the head coach and this also gives greg bovich one last hoorah at trying to win a championship so lonzo ball Vassell, sell martin Giannis, wimby Trey Jones, Zach Collins, Malachi Branham, and Blake Wesley. I am just going to run a nine-man rotation, and we're going to shrink this down to 50 bench utilization, and let's just see how this first season goes. I'm pretty excited, uh, pretty optimistic that this season can go fairly well this year. We'll see if that is the case. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. More than likely, I'm not stopping the deadline. I think I'll just play this through because this team is good enough. But maybe we could trade Zach Collins for a small forward at the deadline. I maybe wouldn't be opposed to that, but he also is expiring contract in the offseason, so we could maybe wait on that. We'll see. I'll see you guys either at the deadline or at the end of the season. So at the end of year two, Jokic wins MVP. Stefan, rookie of the year on the Hornets. Jalen Green, six man, 80 defensive player. Amon Thompson, most improved. And Jokic, clutch player. And Jimmy Bickerstaff is your coach of the year. So here's your NBA first team. Uh, all NBA second team. Uh, we did get Women Yama making, which is nice. And do we get Giannis making one of these? We do. Giannis makes all NBA third team. So uh, we ended up in the playoffs, which is nice. Second season in the Western Conference, so we were wasting no time. Wemby Yama makes playoffs in the second season. 24 from Wemby, 23 from Giannis, 18 from Vassell, 12 from Trey Jones, 10 from Lonzo Ball, and 10 from Zach Collins. Obviously, a big part of this team upgrading it would be the bench and also the small four position. But let's just go ahead and see how the playoffs can go. I imagine Giannis and uh, Victor Webb and Yama pairing in the playoffs would be very tough to deal with. So... Someone like around against Minnesota. They do win game one. They are going to be up three to two on us. So maybe we're not ready to win a championship, but uh, we'll go ahead and see if we can force a game seven back to Texas. And then maybe we can win it and get to the second round. So right now in Minnesota, looking good at the moment, but they are going to take the lead. We are going to take it back though and run away with it. So now we have a game seven on our hands and Texas. This is to get out of the first round for the first time in Wimby's career, obviously. Now, this is the first time in the playoffs, hypothetically, in 2K here. But it looking, it's looking good. And we are going to beat the uh, Timberwolves to get to round two. And I get to play the Lakers, who have LeBron James still 8D. So, going to be a tough matchup. But let's go ahead. Some like current round against the Lakers. And we are going to lose in five. So, unfortunately, we're not ready. But that just gives us, you know, all the momentum to go make a big trade this offseason. Oklahoma City, uh, of course, is going to be a team we're always going to have to deal with. But let's go to the lottery. So, as far as the lottery is concerned, uh, our pick... Uh, actually ends up being number three for Charlotte, but that pick is top 10 protected. So we actually don't get that selection, which sucks, but it would be a huge momentum builder. But we do have 26 and 28. Uh, so we could find a way to make a trade still. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have to send this pack or send this pick back to Charlotte because it does belong to them in real life. Cause it's top 10 protected for sure. It's top 10 protected to like 2020. I can't, I can't remember, but I know this off season protected for sure. So, uh, we're going to go ahead Send that back to the Hornets. And then I'm going to figure out our new small forward starter with uh, these two draft picks that we have. Actually, we have six. We have, technically have five draft picks in this draft. So we're going to find a way, though. So not that I think Jamie McDaniels is someone the Timberwolves would ever consider trading. 2K is telling us that the Timberwolves are considered trading him away. He is a someone who's on a trade block for them. He'd be kind of a perfect 3 and D small forward for what we need at this moment. Kind of what I'm looking for. I don't get McDaniels all that often anyway. So I think this would change it up quite a bit. Of course... You can always go to Brooklyn and talk about Mikael Bridges. I bring him up all the time just because he's so easy to get and he's always on a team that sucks because the Nets are just not good in real life. But since we can get McDaniels, I think we got to try that. Now, he is making a bunch of money. Uh, another one I didn't mind was Washington's uh, Denny Avdia. 
Uh, also 83 overall, a little bit better of an overall 8.6 rebounds. I think this one obviously is maybe a little bit more realistic as well. So do we want Denny of Dia for half the price or do we want McDaniels make it 24 million? I mean, I think it, the answer is simple. I think we go to the Wizards. Now that I think about this, I think we go talk uh, to the Wizards about Denny of Dia because it's not like McDaniels is shooting that much better from three. They're kind of shooting the similar stats from three. So of course this is, ooh, not Giannis. We're not trading Giannis to do this. Uh, I'm assuming we're going to have to include, uh, like, uh, I'm assuming we're going to have to include, um, I guess we don't have to include a contract, but I don't know if there's anybody here I'm willing to trade. So yeah, I think Zach Collins' contract is going to have to be in here, unfortunately, as much as I don't want to move him. But I feel like if we could just give him like 28, I don't think they would say no. 20, if I threw 26, maybe in an early second as well, they still, they, they still say no. 26, 28 in an early second for Denny Vidia. I don't know if I want to go that much further. I'll trade these two seconds and we'll call it a day. No, they say no still. Um, I wouldn't hate. I, I would. I kind of would hate throwing Charles in here, but there's always backup centers we can get. So if I, you know, maybe bring this down a little bit, we just trade one first. Charles at Collins for Denny of Dia. What do you say? They say no still. All right. I'll throw you this early second and we got him. So Denny of Dia, brand new starting small forward. Don't ever get him. So it's also kind of a nice change up as well. But that gives us a huge upgrade at that small forward spot, which is nice. So obviously now we're looking for a backup five, but we can go straight into the draft and pick at 26. So we still have a first round pick. Uh, we have Unique, who I'm going to take here out of USC, and that will be our pick here. So he's going to be 74 overall. Probably not going to be ready to play right away, but uh, I'm still, you know, very happy to have him. And then qualifying offers, Ish Wainwright, Sandro, going to go ahead and not worry about them too much. All right, Lonzo Ball is someone I want to bring back, and Trey Jones. So I'm going to bring both those guys back, and then hopefully we can get a good center. We have like De'Aaron Sharp, Kevon Looney out here, so hopefully we can get something going. But let me make sure I resign Lonzo uh, for sure. And then also Trey Jones. Again, I have mentioned in the past, I always seem to lose Trey Jones. So if we can bring them both back, that's exactly what I want to do. So let's see if we can get both of them. And then can, is it, can I get a center as well? Daron Sharp or Kevon Looney sounds fine to me. Uh, right now, I'm going to go for Daron Sharp. I'm going to go for Daron Sharp to start things off here. Let's see what happens if I try to get Daron Sharp with these two. Am I able to do it? Yes, I am. So we get a backup center to replace Charles, which is nice. And I think that's all we're going to be able to really do. So now we have a cool rotation of... Lonzo Ball, Trey Jones, Vassell, Malachi Branham, Danny Avdia, Caleb Martin, Giannis, and then uh, Wimby and Daron Sharp. So obviously, unfortunately, we don't have a good backup power forward, but we'll still sign someone. Lamar Stevens, who I actually think played in San Antonio for a second, or maybe they cut him before he even played a game, but let's go ahead and uh, sign him. And that will be our off season. So we bring in Danny Avdia, we bring Lonzo, we bring in Daron Sharp, feeling good. We got to round two last year. Wimby's only going to keep developing. So now we're up to a 95, 97 across the board. Vassell, Denny of Dia, Alonzo Ball. Malcolm Brandon's up to an 80. Blake Wesley is up. Adaron Sharp is up. So all this is looking fantastic. All up, you know, all this is obviously to gear up to get a championship for not only uh, Giannis, get Wimby his first championship, get Greg Popovich a championship before he retires. So all of this is all going for a bunch of things. A lot of goals at hand to make sure this ends in a championship for us. So let's go ahead and load this 2026 draft class and hopefully... This is the year we can go win it. This would only be year number two with these guys. And I have a, you know, this is a good team. I think this is a good enough team to go win it. So proficiency is four and a half, which is fantastic. Uh, here's rotation. Alonzo Ball, Vassell, Denny Avdia, Giannis, Wimbenyama, Malachi Branham, Trey Jones, Daron Sharp, and Caleb Martin. If this team can't get it done, I'll be disappointed. We should at least be a playoff team, maybe a top three seed. Let's go ahead, see how this goes. Hopefully at the end of the season, we are hoisting a Larry O'Brien trophy. So at the end of year number two, Wimbin Yama is already getting an MVP trophy, which is nice. Love to see that. Cooper Flag Rookie of the Year on the Grizzlies. Nicola is your sixth man. So the Grizzlies have definitely geared up in the lottery. Good for them. Uh, Wimby also is the Defensive Player of the Year. James Wiseman most improved. Nicola Jokic Clutch Player. And unfortunately, we are not considered for coach or executive because, of course, you know, the Thunder exists. Uh, we did win 60 games, though. Giannis does not make an All-NBA first team, but he does make an All-NBA second team. Uh, here's your, and then, oh, I thought that was Lonzo for a second. I was like, damn, did Lonzo make one? No. All NBA, second team for LaMelo. All defense first team. Uh, we got Giannis and Wimby on here, which is nice. And that's it. All right. So we are the second team in the West again, obviously to the Oklahoma City Thunder. If we take a look at the player stats, let's see what it's looking like. You had 28 from Wimby, 26 from Giannis with 10 rebounds, 15 for Vassell, 12 from Branham, 11 from Denny of Dia, 9 for Trey Jones, and 9 and 5 from Lonzo Ball. So not too shabby. Let's go ahead and see if we can go win a championship. So we're playing the team we beat last year in round one, that being the Timberwolves. So let's go ahead and see if we can beat them again. 
Somebody current around, and this year we are going to full on sweep them. No problem, no sweat. We take care of them. Dallas Mavericks, Luka Doncic, Jaden Hardy, Josh Green, Jonathan Isaac, Derek Lively, Montez Bazalis, Gafford, and Tim Hardaway. So, of course, Luka Doncic, always a problem to deal with. They don't have Kyrie Irving anymore. Hopefully, that gives us an advantage. And we are going to go down 3-2 to two to the Mavericks. So, wow. Uh, Luka Doncic on his own is just a, you know, brute force to deal with. And it looks like they might eliminate us here. So, yeah, Luka Doncic is that powerful, man. He can beat Giannis and Wembenyama on his freaking own, I guess. All right, so we get to uh, run it back another year. Oklahoma City Thunder beat the Mavericks, and the Thunder going to win the championship. Who do the Thunder even have right now? They have OG, Chet. Yeah, so they got OG Nanobi, Isaiah Hardenstein. So, yeah, very good squad in Oklahoma City. Disappointed by the result. I think that was kind of dumb to lose to Luka Doncic like that, but I'm not surprised, I guess. Uh, our pick uh, is number 29, and then it looks like that's about it. If we go to staff signing, let's go see what this is looking like. Uh, of course, Greg Popovich has one last year in his contract, so it's probably necessary to make sure we get it done this year to go win that championship. So NBA draft night, we do have a 26-29, and then we have a couple of other contracts at our disposal if you wanted to make another big move. Maybe we include any of Dio's contract. What do you do for us? 10.38% shooting from three is not bad, though. I don't hate it. I actually like where the team is at. Uh, maybe we could boost the shot tendency on Lonzo Ball a little bit. Don't know if that would help out any, but uh, I don't know. Let's try to package these picks to move up in the draft just because I just don't see the point of adding like five rookies to this team. Let's say we move up to like, I don't know, pick 21 might be a little too steep. Let's see if we can get to 14. If I offer 26, 29, uh, 16, 24, what do you say? They say no. Uh, they say no to that. Okay, so we're going to not be able to get 14. Uh, let's keep going down the list. We can't get 14. Can we get 16? Yes, we can. So we're going to get pick 16. I think that makes a lot more sense than, you know, trading for or, you know, drafting five players here. So pick 16, we have Drake Powell, Caleb Wilson. Uh, it's kind of funny because I come into here with no plan at all, but I'm going to take Bryce James. Of course, LeBron James is long gone, but Bryce James, welcome to San Antonio. Uh, going to be a project in the background, uh, but I'm happy to have you regardless. Blake Wesley, Malachi Branham, two free agents. I definitely have interest in bringing back. Luka Doncic is going to leave the mat. Or no, he's not. He's going back. I would be awesome if I could add him to this to uh, add him to this team, but that's obviously not going to happen. Branham is asking for a ton of money. So I'm going to wait till day 12 to sign Malachi Branham uh, back, just because that is going to be very expensive. And uh, of course, this team is only going to get more expensive as we keep going. So if I can get Branham on a steal of a contract, it's probably where I'm going to go with this. Yeah, I am just simply running it back, just because I found that loss of the Mavericks a little fluky, I guess. So. Uh, we're going to give him a three-year deal. I'll give Wesley a three-year deal as well. So let's see what they say. They signed those. Boom, got them back. And we have Lonzo Ball, Branham, everyone developing. Unique is even up to a 77. So that's huge. Uh, Deron Sharp is up. So Unique definitely could be a player uh, to pay attention to. But if I do you know, feel like I need to stop at the deadline, I might do so. But I'm going to go ahead and bank on this being our championship season. I am. I'm out of journey these rookies. And I think this could be the year we get it done. Proficiency. Four and a half still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boost Lonzo Ball shot tendency up just a little bit. Actually, it could be Vassell shot tendency boosted up. I'm going to go 80 on or 90 on Vassell. Don't know if that's going to make a difference, but we'll do that. I even boost Lonzo's up to like a 60 and let's see how that goes. So boom, we'll do that. And then if I do feel like I need to stop the deadline, I have assets to make another big trade if I want to. This has got to be the year we pull all the stops to get, you know, Greg Popovich a championship. So. If I stop a deadline, I will show you. If I feel like the team is too good, I don't want to, then, uh, you know, we won't stop. Wimby gets another MVP. I decided not to stop at the deadline because this team won 70 games. Yeah, this team was very, very good. Greg Popovich coached the year 70 to 12. I think boosting that shot tendency helped out just a tad bit. Uh, defensive player also going to Wimby. Wimby makes all NBA first team again. Giannis all NBA second team. But yeah, we're running out of time. So hopefully this is it right here. Of course, the Thunder are always going to be a problem to deal with. But uh, let's see how this goes. So player stats. Yeah, 26 from Wimanyama again, 13 point, or thirteen rebounds, I should say. 25 from Giannis, 17 from Vassell, 15 from Branham, 10 from Lonzo, and then 10 from Denny Evdia. So here goes nothing. We get Portland in round one. Obviously, we lose in round one. I'm out of here. Going to rage quit because, uh, yeah, we can't lose to the Blazers like that. So, um, and it's okay. We went to game seven with them. I was prepared to just log off the game. I'm going to be honest. But we get to play the Warriors now. Stephen Curry. Uh, Trace Jackson Davis, Brandon Podzimski, so many current around against the Warriors, and we're going to sweep them. All right. Now we get our toughest opponent yet, that being the Oklahoma City Thunder. Of course, Shea, Trey Johnson, they lost Josh Giddy, so hopefully that helps us out a little bit, but the Thunder are still the Thunder. 
We'll go game by game on this one. Game one, 1-0, 123 to 106. Good start. 25 and 10 from Giannis, 21 and 12 from Daron Sharp. Huge game for Daron Sharp off the bench. Game two, 2-0. Two to zero. Beat them by nine. Can we go up 3-0? to zero? No, we cannot. We're probably going to let them even it up, aren't we? No, 3-1. to one. So far, so good. Um, Wimbenyama, 23 and 17 in that game. Of course, this is against his foe, that being Chet Holmgren. We're going to beat them in six. No, we're going to a game seven, of course. Game seven. This one is in San Antonio at the very least, but obviously i'm not looking to lose the thunder in game seven so let's see if we can come out here and win this game seven it's going to be a, a close game i imagine though so, so far we have the lead hopefully you just run away with it and we are going to just blow them out w we don't have to sweat that one and we're in the finals now we get to play the pistons who have uh kate cunningham ivy asar thompson siakam jalen Duran. that's a very good starting fight very very good bench is very good as well so this is not going to be an easy matchup but here goes nothing of course we have the firepower but they still have Cade, and they have a well-rounded rotation. We have, of course, a little... Wow, the Nets made it to the finals. Nice. Ben Simmons is our starting point guard, but we have Giannis and Wimby. So hopefully that evens out uh, things. Game 1, 1-0, one beat them by 16. Game 2, 2-0. Two zero. So far, so good. 3-0, and it looks like we're just going to sweep the Pistons, and we get Greg Popovich a championship with Yama. Finals MVP, absolute W. We accomplished everything we wanted to accomplish, and I want to see something cool, hopefully, uh, let's go to retirements. Obviously, that's not what matters. Does Popovich retire? He does. He retires on a ring. Shout out to Greg Popovich. What a perfect ending to this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Women, Yama, and Giannis Kumpo. More than likely, we won't see it. But man, what a duo that would be. That would be absolutely insane. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I feel like you put like the perfect team around him. I feel like Lonzo Ball, again, you know, that would be a huge risk to take just because of his injuries. But he'd be the perfect fit. Then you have Dia. Uh, nice little 3 and D wing we got. Vassell fits perfectly still so yeah love how we assembled this team hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you on the next one this is crushables i'm saying peace thank you guys so much for watching make sure you click here to watch another video that i know you'll love